good morning and it is the morning it's seven o'clock in the morning to be precise and the reason i'm out here so early is because today we are at the beginning of a gross chaleur canicule which to you and me is an extreme heat wave and it's all set to get up to 34 degrees today which is uh, the early 90s i believe but uh, as the week goes on it's going to get to 38 which is about 100 degrees so I'm not sure how much we'll get done outdoors this week, but uh, get up early and get out there. That's all you can do, isn't it? Anyway, welcome back to our midweek at the Citadel. And before I start, um, I just want to say thank you for all your comments from the last video. And um, we didn't want to make anybody feel guilty about mentioning composting. Because um, we got a lot of suggestions in the previous video about us perhaps uh, starting composting, etc and um, all those were perfectly fair and well-intentioned um, uh, comments and suggestions and so that's the reason we addressed it so we thought well, we'll just let you all know the reason for us not composting uh, but of course we mentioned that there were one or two nasty comments but um, uh, you know which goes with the territory if I'm honest um, but there were a couple of comments uh, the other day from people saying oh I suggested composting I'm sorry you know I didn't mean to upset <laughs> you didn't upset us um, you know if you're suggesting things for us and giving us tips we love all that so, and keep it coming you know um, so the, the only reason we mentioned it is was to answer the question really about why we're not composting um, and the nasty comments yeah, don't worry about them so if you feel like you want to make a suggestion give us an idea give us a tip keep them coming please do don't uh, we weren't having a moan at anybody in that respect uh, it's just a miserable lot but don't worry about them so thank you for all your comments and thank you for watching the last video and all the previous ones so what have we got for you today well we're going to take a little journey back in time um, probably this time last year actually um, we moved in in March and I think a lot of this footage that I'm going to show you uh, goes back to about this time of the year, so June. And <laughs> I think all chateau owners will be able to tell you some tale of woe regarding their sewage system. And I'm afraid we're no different. We had a bit of a problem last year. And don't worry, we're not going to go into it in great detail. Um, we don't want to put you off your birth burgen, you But before we show you that, uh, I've got something just behind you that I wanted to show you, which is kind of connected, or it's a job that led on from that. Um, so I'll, I'll turn the camera around. So here we are. We're outside the kitchens, the ancient kitchen there, through that doorway there. And as you can see, it's all looking a little bit untidy. Uh, but we've just started um, putting it right and what we're going to do um, some of this is the last of our compost funny enough uh, mixed with some soil and here here for example and these two little um, lavender bushes are going to go in and they're looking a bit sorry for themselves but basically we were at the garden centre the other day and um, well they were pretty much giving these away so we thought well We've been looking for something different to plant, so that's what we're going to plant. Um, we think we can save them, but they were so cheap, it doesn't really matter if, they, if they're unsavable. Anyway, and what we're going to do is go across the whole of this area and put the soil down. And we're actually going to grass this area here. So a lot of this old concrete here and here, it's all been broken up. It's just got to be pulled or pulled up and then tidied. Right, now I'm going to show you a photo on screen of basically this area before we moved in. And as you can see, um, it's lined by a lot of uh, granite blocks and a lot of concrete. But Susie, funny enough, never liked it. She said it always looks like a pavement or, if you're in America, a sidewalk. And we, I agree with that. Okay, so what's that got to do with sewage? Um... Well, nothing really, but basically what we needed to do, uh, we needed to get um, services into the kitchen. The mains water goes into that kitchen, but there's nothing coming out. Um, so we want, you know, dishwasher, washing machines and all that sort of stuff in the area. 
So we needed to get some uh, pipes uh, laid so we could actually get the water out, the drainage, etc. And so the obvious place to start was the granite blocks. If we lift the granite blocks, we've got half of our channel dug. Uh, but of course, that was going to be a long-term project. Um, so, you know, that would have waited a little while. But then we came across a sewage problem and we discovered it quite simply. Um, one day, oh, not long after we moved in, uh, we did a perfectly normal thing. We took the plug out of the bath, emptied the bath, came downstairs and um, had raw sewage in our hallway. <laughs> not very pleasant. Anyway, I discovered the problem uh, was down in the cav and a one metre length of pipe um, was actually going uphill and it should have been going downhill and either end of this pipe was a 90 degree turn and so basically an uphill pipe of that nature it's going to slow everything down to the point where it's going to come to a full stop and unfortunately we discovered it because it started backing up into our hallway anyway I spent a rather unpleasant uh, Saturday sorting that out uh, we thought perfect great lovely done sewage problem done and we're on main sewage by the way not a foss septique um but anyway a couple of weeks later pulled the plug bath raw sewage again so that meant we had another problem so i investigated and i established that the problem wasn't anywhere in the building so it meant it was out here somewhere where who knows and that meant only one thing yep we had to get the digger in And to cut a very long story short, I'm going to show you a little bit of footage now we filmed at the time. It was a very stressful week. Susie and I had never been in a digger before. Uh, our friend Rob from over the road came over to help. He came over for three days. And boy, did we need that help. And he'd never been in a digger before. So between us, we muddled through. Um, but the footage I'm going to show you is a couple of mornings where we were just giving our Facebook friends um, updates on what we were doing. And the reason I'm just going to show you, it just gives you an insight into what we were doing. And, and <laughs> it was very stressful that week. It was very hot and we hadn't been anticipating this. So it was a job that we needed to get done quickly. And... So I'll put that footage on now and you can see just what we were doing. Right, here's what we've been doing. We're on day four. We found a broken pipe here. And just so you know where we are, we're by the front gate. So this is the entrance to the property. We discovered through all our endeavors, there was a blockage somewhere down here. So we dug down and we found a blockage in a pipe. It was actually, <laughs> the pipe had broken. Um, yeah, and everything had got in there, so it blocked up. I've only got these old doors on here to stop the dogs getting in there. So we're about to fit a new pipe in there. And then up here, uh, lots of holes. It took us quite a while to find uh, the sewer pipe. 
because we need to join up to that. That was quite a lot of digging. Now if I come over here, you can see the purpose for that dig. Because uh, we've had to dig a channel all the way down the front of the building. And those are going to be for the services. Uh, dishwasher, washing machine, that sort of thing in the new kitchen, but the new kitchen's right up the other end. <laughs> so, basically, our beloved courtyard now looks like this. We're hoping to get all these pipes fitted today and then we can start filling in again. And the reason we want it done today is because the digger's being collected in the morning and I don't really fancy shoveling all this by hand. Another job we've got to do still is to pick up this concrete, all this concrete's going. Hello Max. Oi. Uh, so we've got to get rid of all that concrete. And Susie's uh, been dumper truck controller. She's been filling the dumper truck and then dumping it right down by the gate there. And there she is, steps into camera just at the right time. So yeah, lots more to do. And uh, one day our beloved courtyard will be a beloved courtyard again. <laughs> so day five, we've repaired this pipe. I forgot to take a photo of it, but trust me, it's repaired and we've tested it. Uh, that's the one by the gate. That's the one which had a break in which I didn't explain yesterday um, when I was filming, but um, it had more than a break in, it was actually cut through. Somebody had actually taken a saw to it, made a hole in it. So I don't know whether somebody previously tried to unblock it, couldn't find the blockage, but anyway. So there's a new piece of pipe in there. And we come back up to here. And there was a pipe here. There was the break here. We've repaired that. We've put a T going up to these pipes here and they're all glued in. We've tested them, we've flushed water down it and blah, blah, blah. It's all done. So now what we're doing, all, all these pipes here, they've all been glued. So we're now just double checking the levels. They were level before we glued them, but obviously you disturb them when we're gluing all the joints, etc. So we're just working our way up from the bottom up to the top and we're just setting the levels now and then all this will be filled in before close of play today and then we'll start to resemble a bit of normality in our home because at the moment it's a building site and we're hoping we've got to come in with this pipe here into what is the existing sink which is only temporary because uh, we're not going to have the kitchen the other side of this wall we're having the kitchen down here uh, but there is a sink there but guess what it was never connected uh, there was a there's a pipe coming out which stopped at this big granite block here just stopped <laughs> so of course every time we uh, put the dishwasher in, in there or the sink uh, we get a nice pool of water out here so we're we're actually going to connect that properly even though it's only temporary for a few weeks maybe two or three months uh, so we've got to do that dig that out but yeah we're not doing too bad should be there by the end of the day and there's the uh, join for it so we're going in this way right better get on <laughs> okay back with me now so anyway so obviously this line here was where the granite blocks were and this is where the drainage has gone in uh, we've still got a lot of these granite blocks lying around they are very very heavy um, still waiting for a little project so we know what to do with those um, but anyway of course we never tidied it up so the first thing I had to do was break up the concrete um, a lot of it was very broken up anyway it was cracked and uneven so it's a bit of a trip hazard um, so the little bit of footage there so and of course um, come the autumn things changed and we never got to finishing it off so now we are going to finish it off so hopefully over the next uh, week or two you'll see a transformation in this area and we're just going to put grass seed down and let it uh, grass up really 
we we thought about flower beds but to be quite honest we, we've got enough tending to do weeding etc we've got enough flowers around the place so we didn't need any more any more flowers and any more work so um, this will all eventually become grass and it will blend out to the rest of the driveway and of course what we're going to do here at some point is our patio area so there you go tales of woe <laughs> so we can now join the list of chateau owners who have had sewage problems great <laughs> so thank you for watching and as usual if you could like and subscribe and hit the notification bell it really helps us really does thank you and we shall see you someday with the spice cabinet bye Chantez.